explanation of the volatility and solubility of ionic compounds. Well, ionic compounds, such as sodium chloride, have ionic bonds, and ionic bonds are very, very strong. So it takes a lot of energy to break them. Room temperature, there's not enough energy being given to the ions, so they can't break away from the, the lattice. And so they have no smell. If you leave salt in a dry room, come back in 100 years, it will still be there. It won't have turned into a gas. It is non-volatile. But hold on, what about smelling salts? Ammonium carbonate. How comes that smells? Well, the ions ammonium and carbonate are much bigger than sodium and chloride ions. And so they have a lower charge density, the bonds are weaker, and the ions can actually volatilize off. So what about the solubility of ionic compounds in water? Well, there are two processes going on here. First of all, the water is attracted to the iron, makes a bond, and that is an exothermic process, represented by the red flashes and the red bar. The second process is the iron being pulled away from the attraction of the lattice, bond breaking, and that is an endothermic process, represented by the blue bar and the blue lights. Now for salt dissolving in water, there's actually slightly more bond breaking energy than bond making energy. And so that's why when you dissolve salt in water, it feels a little cold.